So this is actually not a search and replace command, but instead is a command line shortcut search and replace. So a lot of times I'll do something like let's see HTTP conf dot D, right? So I like look in this directory. I'm like, oh, I need to go over there. I need to edit that file. So what you can do is, or maybe I want to CD to it. You can use the care character to replace from your previous command, take out this string and put in this string and then re-execute the command. Right, That's that handy. Told me what command it ran. Oh, That's good. Ran. Yeah, so, there's, there's, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, this is something that, especially if you're using like big, long, unwieldy strings or file names, and then you have to edit the file or you need to change it or you need to change permissions on it or whatever, you can, uh, you can swap out pieces of the command for other things. Yeah. Um, and you could, and it doesn't have to be the first, uh, word in the command, right? You could replace like something in the middle. So I could do something like this and then go, oh, wait, I want the, instead of. I wanted SSH instead or something. Yeah. Oh no, substitution failed. No good. Yeah, I think it's, it's because slash. of the slashes. Does it not like the slashes? <laughs> what happens when you use Emacs shortcuts? See? I know. There's other cool shortcuts like that. Like bang will repeat the last command, which is handy for if like you forgot to type sudo. I like that one. Oh, I see David Washington said he likes using the caret when he typos something. So he can just take out the typo and replace it with something not typoed in this big, long, nasty command. That's a great idea for how to use that search or replace on the command line. Yeah, the number of times I've used the up arrow and then gone back, like use back and left and right to get to the thing that I typoed and then have to change it. It probably does waste a bit of time, right? Especially if it's a longer command. Um, I've, I've had some of these, you're trying to run a Podman container and there's a billion command line arguments you threw in there to map in volumes and, the, and, and you got something wrong at the beginning of the command, right? So you have to like hit the up arrow and then decide whether it's quicker to hit the home button to get to the beginning and then go back or whatever. Yeah. Anyway, could be helpful. Shabtu asked what the command line history looked like when you use that caret replacement and mm -hmm. It looks the way you would expect, where it's the list of commands that you ran. The caret replacement is really just a shell built-in, actually a shell editor uh, shortcut. So when mm -hmm. I did that replacement of ls for cd, it actually executed a command, which was cd to this directory, which is why it shows up that way in the history instead of weird shell caret replacement syntax. Shantanu says, just use set-o-vim, but then these wouldn't work, right? That's true. By default, Bash uses the Emacs editor as its shell editor. So things like this caret replacement it is an Emacs thing. The other thing I use a lot is escape period, right? So if I, right, VI escape period. So that escape period combination to pull the last token from your previous command into your current spot in the command line, that is also an Emacs shortcut. So if you use set dash set minus OVI to change your command line editor from Emacs to VI, now you have to use VI commands for doing these things. So things like, I don't know, it's been a minute since I've used VI for my command line editor. Actually, it's been like 20 <laughs> VI for my command line editor. Is, uh, is that where stuff like control L comes from to clear the screen or, and con I guess control D logout is not from Emacs, nope. is it? Nope. Okay. That's a control character you're typing in. But okay. instead of using up arrow to go through your history, you'd use escape K, 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 right? Cause you're like using the K command to move up through your history. That's what you oh. do with e or VI, uh, which I don't know. I just added to my lexicon of command line shortcuts and over the yeah. years. It and yeah. even though it's Emacs and I feel feel somewhat guilty about using Emacs, uh, like it's only three commands or five commands that I use. So it's it's just further cemented that Emacs will can never go away because it's it's built into Bash. We we'd all have to learn something new if we if we got rid of Emacs. 